know I have two little girls and I can't wait till they get just a tiny bit older because we're going to do jigsaw puzzles. And what happens when you get a jigsaw puzzle? You get the jigsaw puzzle and you open it up and you dump the, you dump the contents of the puzzle on the table. And what do you do? You look at the picture and you look at the pieces and you look at the picture and then you look at the pieces and you look at the big picture. Then you look at the random pieces and you look at the big picture. Then you look at the random pieces. And what happens when you find a random renegade piece that you don't know what to do with? Well, if you're looking at the big picture, it doesn't discourage you because you know if you keep pressing on and enduring hardship like a good soldier, ultimately you will see how that random renegade piece fits into the big picture. And that's what Joseph did. See, he didn't get sidetracked by the pieces of the life puzzle that were confusing, that were disappointing, that were random. He kept focus on the big picture. What's your big picture? What has he called you to do? When you sit across from him at the Bema seat, what will you have to accomplish to hear, well done? good and faithful servant. Who's waiting on the other side of your obedience? I love what Paul said in his closing letter. I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. I finished the race, 2 Timothy 4, verses 6 through 8 in that vicinity. And he says, and now awaits a crown of righteousness for me, but not just me, all of those who will follow my example. See, he was focused. He said, I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. I finished my race. In Acts 20, he said, none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear to myself, that I might finish my race, the ministry that Christ has given me with joy. <laughs>